So I need to get from here all the way to here in two and a half weeks. Now that sounds like a long time to drive across the country in a car. In fact, last year I took my car to South Dakota and back in five days, even with the fun surprises that occurred during the trip. But you see, this isn't your ordinary trip. I'm not taking a car across the country. I'm taking my RV. This is my 1984 Fleetwood Pacero. It's about 38 feet long and it's got a lot of issues. I spent the last seven months remodeling this RV. Some things are still not done, but we're not gonna talk about that. The point is, with the help of my friends and family, I've turned this thing into something I can actually call home. I've got my shower, my bathroom, my dry storage area, kitchen, bed, and living room with Wi-Fi. I mean, it's all an 18-year-old can ask for, just in a miniature skill. Despite some of the engine troubles, I can't wait to get this thing on the road and live my life to the fullest in it. Son of a b Starting a new life in a new location is the easy part when it comes to moving. The hard part comes at the beginning of the whole thing when you have to say goodbye to everyone you know. Your family. <laughs> your friends. and even the people you work with. But in a sense, it's really not a bad thing. Sure, it's gonna be hard being away from everyone and everything that you know, but at the same time, you have an opportunity to take on a journey that many people dream of having. And once you get to your destination, you get to restart your entire life. No ties to anyone or anything, just you and the never-ending possibilities that lie ahead. Anyways, I won't keep boring you with this goodbye stuff. Our first stop, U-Haul, so I can tow my car. And just like that, everything changed. Nothing. Not what? I'm at U-Haul right now. This is the worst spot to break down. It was clear to me that I wasn't going to make it to Seattle. My issues were bigger than a bad starter, dead batteries, or a faulty alternator. The plans I've spent months arranging suddenly vanished. The trip I quit my job for. All of the goodbye parties. and I didn't even make it more than 30 minutes away from home. I guess it could have been worse though. I could have broke down a thousand miles away from home with no one to come rescue me. It's either sheer unluckiness or the universe telling me not to go to Seattle or a bit of both. It's going to take some time to get my life back on track. See, I didn't have a backup plan. But I believe everything happens for a reason. I guess there is something for me in Pennsylvania. I just have to find it.